Hey, what's going on everyone? Hawks21 here, back with another Splinterlands video. So we're going to continue on talking about all of the Rebellion cards through every single Splinter. Um, I already did Fire. Up next, we have Water. We have to remember the order now because I'm recording a lot of these in a row. Um, I kept the first one to 12 minutes, which I thought was pretty good. I thought they were going to be longer. So I'm going to try to do the same thing here. I like going through them quick before, you know, we even see these cards in their final stages. Because again, there could be nerfs, there could be buffs. There will be nerfs and there will be buffs. And I will cover all of those. So you don't need to worry about that. But let's just go through it so I can introduce you to these cards that are going to change the game of Splinterlands forever. Starting off, Chaos Rear Guard. I wonder what this card does. Survey says, Sneak Defender, yep, that's what this card is. It's very cool that this is 4 mana um, for Little League, because think about Little League Water. You have the Pelicor Bandit, Uraeus, um, you know, you get some sneak plays, right? And you get some archery plays too, so this could potentially be useful. But you get a lot of sneak plays, so tossing this in the back there, uh, it's going to take up a lot of time in those little league matches to get through this guy. Even if you do poison, right? Because they're going to be hitting the shield and the poison is going to be two. You know, you're talking three, four, five turns before you're getting through the rear guard here. So pretty cool. I like when the cards are named for exactly what they do. This is a sneak defender. Um, reverse speed. Certain context. Maybe you can put it up front just to soak up damage. Again, this is a defensive card though. Okay. Moving on, we have our no attack two mana card that every Splinter has. This one has stun, slow, magic reflect, good speed, good health. Again, good card of its own, on its own. Add weapons trainer and uh, getting stunned for two mana with magic reflect and slow is a fantastic combination. I'm gonna want all of these two mana cards. I know that for sure. This looks like an interesting guy. Look at this fellow. Martorine Seeker. Low attack, four mana though. This is very fast with dodge and phase. As it's it snipes, which to me doesn't really mean anything. But this is a cool card. Um, it's very defensive. I like it. I like this guy. All right. Another um. Another Little League play, where you can put him in the back and he could potentially get some dodges. The Sultry Barmaid. What a card, look at this. What to say. You obviously gotta give the Snake Ambush. Huh. Really high speed stun. So you could stun your tank right out the gate here in amp with an Ambush. High health. Really great speed. I mean, it's hard to play this card with two attack. Again, another high health defensive type card. That's what we've seen here. Maybe all, basically all across the board except for here. So far in the first row. I mean, maybe are they telling us that Waters too, has been too attack focused and now we're about to get some higher health, high speed. This is going to be one of my favorite cards. I already know. The Soothsayer. Only one damage. But Cleanse and Heal. Any card that has Cleanse and Heal together... I am in because the cleanse happens first and then it heals. It has high health. It has dodge at the highest level. Only one. Basically, I wish it didn't have an attack because now it could just have what well, one. I would want a weapon strain it. That's been a theme of my recent videos. Um, but I, I don't want the magic reflect damage. I want to keep this card alive for as long as possible. Spells cool. Uh, and this has lookout. I think this is the first lookout card we've seen. So adjacent units receive one less damage from attackers with sneak, snipe, and opportunity. Additionally, all units take half damage from ambushes as long as your lookout unit is on your team. So this is going to be a cool new ability. Um, they're implementing sort of positioning mattering a lot more in Splinterlands. It doesn't sound like it matters for this card, though, right? So if you put this in the sneak position, which I would maybe want to with the dodge, decent speed, and high health, I don't think you get one less for yourself. That'll be something we'll have to test because it specifically says adjacent cards. So 
We'll see, but the cleanse and the heal, this is that's a really good card. So more healing and water. This card, if you if you're an OG Splinterlands player, you know the Electric Eel. Um which was a reach position card in water that has blast and was four mana and looked a lot like this. Um, it was faster though, and it has, I think it's in beta. Um, look it up if not, it's very, very similar. That The electric eel had shield, this one doesn't. Um, but yeah, I mean, four mana, little league. We're getting a lot of little league cards here with water. This one's attack focused though. I like it. Sea Dog, whenever I see um, heal, I'm interested. This is Corrosive Ward, so when hit with a melee attack specifically, unit does two armor damage to the attacker, and max damage of the attack max armor of the attacker is reduced by two. So this permanently removes two armor from a melee monster when it gets attacked, when it gets hit. This is a tough ability for me. Um, I see its value, but you're banking on your opponent bringing shield, having a shielded monster. So, you know, the, this card's good in particular because it has high health and heal for seven mana, decent attack, decent speed. So I think it's going to be worth it to bring this card a lot of the time. And the ward will be a bonus. I just think the ward's going to be a somewhat difficult ability to plan your lineups around. This is another example. We have one in fire of sort of a seven, you know, six, seven, eight mana tank that could be really, really valuable. Um, you know, this one has heal. Awesome. Ooh, we bloodlust. Okay. It's the first time I'm seeing this. Argarix Hydromagus. Wow, I love this card. Such a low three mana for Scattershot. Good health, good speed with Bloodlust. This card could get insane if you get a little bit of luck. And it's totally worth it to toss that in there for three mana. Another Little League card. Ooh, this card's cool. I like this one a lot. I'm a fan. Okay, one more row. This one's going quick. I like it. I have not seen this card before. Um, oh, so it's magic. Interesting. Obviously, you got to be worried about poison, but this setup with the void armor is obviously good. Add the ward. As we talked about, I'm not fully sold on this ability yet. Um, equalizer. This card's obviously sick. Solid card. I mean, niche card. I see the use cases. There There will be use cases for this card, for sure. Okay, here we go. I think this is the potential. I haven't seen this card maxed out. This probably has the potential to be my favorite card. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like I talked about with the Zeriel, video how the dual splinter summoners so we have a life in water one i can bring izzy r which if you don't know let me just take a quick detour here izzy r is the soulbound card that has taunt and martyr so i can play this life card now with Captain Valblade, bring a bunch of Resurrects. First Martyr, this goes to three, four, seven. Then we get four, five, eight. A lot of times you can bring three. Then we're talking five, six, nine. This card by itself is ridiculous. And the fact that I can play it with Isiar makes it even crazier. This is by far my favorite card I've seen this far. It's so fast. We I don't think we've seen a card like this. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of this card. That'll be one that I might max day one. Um, I'm not someone who likes to max cards day one just because there's a lot of excitement, as you can see how excited we are, but that one might be the exception. 
Huh. So again, pretty defensive, really good support ability, silence, headwind, swiftness, amplify. Just hard to bring this with two damage. I mean, very defensive card. Huh. Yeah, just a lot of defense here for water. And then finally, the Dead Blast. This one leaked. This is a great card. Triage, Swiftness, Dodge with Weapons Training. Three Magic. Add it to the Bakjira. Add it to the Merdali Guardian. Three Magic damage is a lot. Big fan of this card. Um, yeah, overall, I think... I like these cards, eh, I don't know. Do I like these cards more than Fire? I'm not sure. I mean, just by itself, Captain Fellblade. She is going to be maybe one of my favorite cards in the game. I, I don't know if I'm jumping to conclusions too quickly, but I am a huge, huge, huge fan of this card right here. Um, and the, yeah, I'm gonna go Water over Fire this far. Just these two are so crazy. I also like here, I like here a lot. All the two mana are kind of the same to me. I think they're they're too low of cost, so I'm gonna want all of them. Overall, yeah, water. Water is one of the splinters that I use the most, and I don't see that changing with Rebellion. I think my water deck is going to improve even more, and uh, I'm excited to bring it out. So up next, we will have Earth. Thank you for watching these videos. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it as I push towards 2,000 subscribers. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. Hope you all enjoyed. I will talk to you soon and see you around the game.